your organization has strict requirements to control access to Google Cloud projects. You need to enable your Site Reliability Engineers, SREs, to approve requests from the Google Cloud support team when an SRE opens a support case. You want to follow Google recommended practices. What should you do? A. Add your SREs to roles, IAM, role admin role. B. Add your SREs to roles, access approval, approver role. C. Add your SREs to a group and then add this group to roles, IAM, role admin, role. D. Add your SREs to a group and then add this group to roles, access approval, approver. Now take 10 seconds to think about the answer. Answer is option D. To enable your site reliability engineers, SREs, to approve requests from the Google Cloud support team, you should follow Google recommended practices by doing the following. B. Add your SREs to the roles, access approval, approver role. Explanation. B. Adding your SREs to the roles, access approval, approver role grants them the necessary permissions to approve requests made by the Google Cloud support team through the access approval feature. This role specifically provides the ability to review and approve access requests within your organization. Option A, adding SREs to roles, IAM, role admin role, would grant them full administrative privileges, which may be excessive and could potentially compromise security and compliance requirements. It is generally not recommended to grant blanket administrative roles unless absolutely necessary. Options C and D, adding SREs to a group and then assigning that group to roles, IAM, Role admin or roles, access approval, approver roles, respectively, can help manage and simplify the assignment of permissions. However, the critical aspect is assigning the appropriate role, roles, access approval, approver, to enable SREs to approve requests from the Google Cloud support team. Therefore, the correct approach is to add your SREs to the roles, access approval, approver role.